chocolate because I like hot chocolate and I thought I would share the love with you by showing you my recipe for a spiced hot chocolate. Now this drink is perfect for kind of just snuggling up on the couch, watching your favourite TV show, especially in colder months or you know let's be honest any time of year really is hot chocolate time. Warm, hot, whatever, it's always good. So let's get crackalacking into it, why don't we? So, the first thing you'll be needing is a little saucepan, of course, because we're going to be making this over a stove. Uh, you'll also be needing some spices, so I've got some nutmeg here. Uh, four little cardamom pods. And uh, just a cinnamon stick. I'll also be using a little mortar and pestle to smash up the spices. And then, of course, we need the chocolate. So this is just some dark chocolate melts, which I find give it such a good, rich flavor. And I, I love it, I love it. And of course, your favorite mug. Okay, so of course, you don't have to use whole spices for this. I, it's just my personal preference. You can use already ground spices if you like. I just prefer to use the whole ones and grind them up myself because I feel like you get a better flavour that way and especially with something like the cinnamon, if you use the ground cinnamon in it instead of a cinnamon stick, you tend to get um, a bit of grittiness from the ground cinnamon because it doesn't really dissolve in the hot chocolate. So by using the cinnamon stick you can get the flavour of the cinnamon but um, you take that out at the end and you don't, you're not left with that sort of grittiness. So if you don't mind it, then sure, go ahead. But it's not something I like, so I prefer to use a whole stick. Ah, oh, oh my gosh. Ah, oh, and I completely forgot. You need some milk, because, you know, or else it's just melted chocolate. You probably were wondering, like, what the hell, that's just going to be melted chocolate, which is also amazing. But no, to make our chocolate, we're going to need some milk. Any milk of your choice. First step is to measure out your milk in your mug. So this is gonna make sure you actually get like the perfect amount of hot chocolate in the end. So we're gonna do that. And then pouring that milk straight into the saucepan. And put that aside for later. And try not to drip it all over the bench like I've just done. And then all we're gonna do is smash up some of the spices. So I'm gonna take the cardamom pods and just give them a couple of bashes in the mortar and pestle. So, woo, woo, you can see that. And that's really just to break them up and um, open up the pods to get the flavor out. Throw those into your milk. Next we're going to take the cinnamon stick, and you could just chuck this in whole, but I feel like you get a better flavour out of it if you do crack it open a little bit. So again, you're just going to uh, smash that open a little bit. So it's just sort of cracked open. So it's just sort of cracked open a little to get that flavour out. And at this point you can already smell the aroma of the spices and it's just amazing. So chuck that in there. Grabbing a little grater, or you can obviously use already ground nutmeg for this, probably easier. Um, just grating a bit of nutmeg in there. I don't, there's no real exact measurements for this, it's just sort of to your personal taste. I like to grate a fair bit in. There we go. Okay. So now we're gonna take this over to the stove and start heating it up. That's my heating it up dance, in case you were wondering. I um, hope you like it. Boogie tap. Oh my god, I'm such a weirdo. Okay, so just whack that on the stove over a low heat. your milk and spice mix has started to heat up and you can hear it starting to simmer that's the time to add the chocolate in so you can add as much or as little as you want depending on how rich you want it to be and just give it a good stir because you want it to all melt and mix through you don't want the chocolate just sitting on the bottom of the saucepan
from this point you can turn the heat off and just keep stirring for a little bit longer just to make sure all that chocolate is really melted through. So now it's time to grab your mug and a little strainer or a sieve or something just to make sure you don't get those pods and whatever in your hot chocolate. And time to carefully pour. Try your best not to spill anything. Let's see how we go. Yes, success! And there you go, you have your spiced hot chocolate. Oh, so warming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and hope you try it at home. If you do, let me know in the comments below or send me a photo of your Spiced Hot Chocolates creations on Instagram at Kites Fly High. And I don't know, maybe you can tweak it a little. Maybe you can make a few more suggestions to make it even better, but it's so good how it is. So all that's left to do now is cuddle up, watch a good movie and drink this lovely concoction. I can't stop tasting it, I'm sorry. But I'll probably go all over my mouth now. So till next time, have fun and goodbye. So went and did a little bit of shopping at Topshop. Or maybe a lot of shopping at Topshop. As you can see it's a pretty big bag.